car is about to run me over. <sighs> Guys, I just had the best blow dry experience ever. Um, I don't know if you would remember, but a couple of vlogs ago, I was taking you guys through my hair care routine and showing you some of my favorite products to kind of keep up my blonde in between my color appointments. And I mentioned one of my favorite brands, Davines. I finally learned how to say it properly. Um, and someone from the brand actually reached out and sent me a ton of products. And they also invited me to come into the salon for a blowout. So I actually just got it done. Um, Dina, I'll leave her Instagram handle on the screen in the description box. She did my hair and it's so nice. And now I don't have to do my hair. So um, thank you so much for having me. If you guys are interested, I will leave the website to the salon in the description box. It's called Broom Street Society and they use all Davines products when they're washing your hair and when they're styling it. So they did a little color treatment on me and then they used a mousse and a styling product on my hair when they did the blow dry so I should definitely check them out I'm trying to decide what I want to do I think I want to go get a coffee really quick and then I'm just gonna go home okay guys I'm picking up this vlog a couple days later because I, I had to work <laughs> I had a photo shoot and then um, yesterday I just had a bunch of doctor's appointments and errands that I just couldn't really vlog so we're picking this vlog back up on a Saturday I just got back from the salon yet again um, this time for my color I had to get my roots touched up and she did such a good job so I know I've mentioned her before but um, I see Mercedes at Cutler Arlo Unfortunately, she's only here like one weekend out of the month, but she's so worth it So if you need a colorist, especially if you're a blonde like me and you like this kind of hair highlights um, You should definitely go and see her. I thought the rest of this vlog could be Just a chill day at home with me as you guys can tell by the title I have a huge revolve haul to show you guys which I'm gonna get into and then tonight. I'm thinking we just order sushi and like watch a movie or something super chill i have a lot of work coming up a lot of photo shoots the next two weeks are going to be really busy and hectic so i'm just going to take my downtime when i can you guys know i'm like kind of more of a homebody than anything i love to just be at home and watch a movie and just like chill it's my favorite thing to do but yeah before we do any of that i'm going to do a little revolve haul for you guys it's actually going to be a pretty big haul um, I have a couple of pieces that I've collected over like the last two months and then I have a big box of gifted goodies that I want to share with you guys. Um, this video is also in partnership with Revolve, so that's very exciting. I um, have been working with Revolve for, I want to say like six or seven months. I think we started working with them just before Christmas. and. It's just been such a great experience. I am part of their ambassador program, which is super helpful as a creator because, you know, obviously I shop at Revolve already, but this kind of helps you build a better relationship with the brand. They give you uh, links that you can use, which I'll get into. And yeah, it's just nice to work with a brand who gives back to their creators in a sense. Anyway, the reason why I'm sharing the ambassador program with you guys is because it's actually open Anybody can apply. You just have to go on the site. I'll do a little overlay so you guys can see. But all you do is go on the on the site and apply to be a Revolve ambassador. And if you get approved, then you basically get the same benefits as me and any other YouTuber or content creator. Um, you get access to a Revolve favorites list where you can save pieces that you love. And you also get personalized links, which you can then share with your followers or you know your audience whatever that may be and then when they shop through those links you make a commission so it's a win-win situation another great thing and i'm mentioning this because i've had a couple people ask me about this is they are very open to people who don't necessarily have a huge following and i think that this is probably the most unique thing about this program is you know most brands only want to work with people who have a huge reach and you know massive following and the ambassador program at revolve doesn't really work that way they're looking for all kinds of creators and 
really just people who already love the clothes, wear the clothes, you know, take pictures in the clothes and share it. And you know, this is just like a little something extra to add on to that. Just also make it easier to share links and things with your community. If you guys have any questions, uh, definitely let me know. I'm gonna leave the link to the application down below as well as the links to all the clothes I'm about to show you. So let's get into the haul. Okay, so before I get into this cardigan, I do have two pieces that are missing from this haul. One of them is a black midi dress with a slit and like a tied back. It's the sexiest dress ever. Um, and the other item is a pair of white trousers. Both of them are at the tailor and they were supposed to be done yesterday, but unfortunately they were not able to get them done in time for this video. So I'll still link them down below, but I'll just show you guys those pieces in another video. Um, the reason that I'm mentioning it is because I'd probably wear this with the white trousers if I had them, but I'm just gonna wear them with my favorite pair of jeans instead, which are also from Revolve. They're from A Goldie. Anyway, we have this cute little cardigan from Lovers and Friends. I just thought this color was so sweet for summer and I love the little details. I don't have a lot of pieces like this, so I thought it would be a nice addition to my summer wardrobe. And it goes cute with the jeans. I mean, I would probably wear white pants or white jeans if I really wanted a summer look, but it can go with a lot of different things. Okay, next is this mock neck knit top. This top is insane. They also have it in a charcoal color um, and I'm obsessed with it. Ties in the back, it's so sexy. Um, I am wearing nipple covers underneath. I think it actually helps to secure the top. Sorry, I'm like touching my boobs a lot. But uh, <laughs> I, I mean, you guys do what you want. I am a nipple covers kind of girl. I just love wearing them with tops like this because I think it just helps smooth everything out. It does go with the jeans. I would probably wear this with white pants just to like offset the color. But yeah, it's just a staple item for spring and summer and super versatile next i have this corset top i love this i love that it's not a full corset and it's just like a little crop top because then you can wear it with jeans or you can like tuck it into trousers if you wanted i also have to steam this so don't mind that i literally just pulled it out of the bag yeah i don't know you could definitely oh my god i just fell <laughs> you can definitely style this in different ways like you can do it with the jeans make it cool for going out or you can make it more chic with a pair of trousers or something along those lines. Okay, next is this black knit midi dress that I'm obsessed with. You guys are gonna be seeing this a lot. I can guarantee it. I've already been wearing it like every day. Um, it's just so flattering, so comfortable. It has a low back. And what I love about this dress the most is that you can dress it up or down. So I'll wear this to work with sneakers and like a little leather jacket. And then I can also wear this to dinner with some heels and a blazer or something like that. And it's just so versatile, it's easy to pack. This is something that I definitely would consider a staple in my wardrobe. Another midi dress, a little bit of a different color. <laughs> um, I have been loving just the midi dress trend. I find them so comfortable, so flattering, and I feel really chic and put together in them. Um, this one's showing up a little bit light on camera. It's definitely darker in person. But yeah, I just thought this was so cute. It's super comfortable, definitely hugs your body, so it's pretty body conscious. Um, I'm also wearing nipple covers underneath, just to be transparent. It has a little slit on the side, and it also has a cute tie detail in the back, so. I don't know, I thought this was really cute for like an event, or brunch, or even a date night could be really cute. Okay, normally I don't try swimwear on on camera, but I figured if I were shopping and watching a YouTube video, I would wanna see the fit. So I'm just gonna show you guys the bikinis that I got. This one is from a brand called Love Wave. I have another bikini from them that is kind of like a zebra print. Um, and I just love the fit of their suits. They're obviously really tiny, um, but I can't really get tan lines for work. So this is just the kind of bikini that I would go for. And it's such a cute color for summer once I get a tan. <laughs> Okay, this one is also from Love Wave. It's just a white, little ribbed um, bikini. It also has this like ruching material on the top and on the bottoms. This one's a little bit more full coverage, a little bit more full coverage, um, which it's nice to have if you're gonna be around family or something like that. Okay, this is my personal favorite. This one's from Camila Cuello. I love, I love her stuff, especially her swimwear. I think she just nails it. 
Um, love the color, love the fit. I went with this because it's a little bit more supportive on the top. I always love to have one bikini that's not like a triangle or a bandeau top just in case I want to do like sports in the water or I just want to like go snorkeling and not worry about my you know top flying off um so yeah I got this obviously love the color and the cut of the bottoms is just perfect they are more cheeky but um yeah they obviously have enough coverage like all around this last one is also from Camila Cuello and it actually comes with a little matching skirt so I'll put that on in a second um this one is more something I would wear to like a pool party or a beach club or something just because this is like a knit bikini um you can wear this in the water but i would save this for something a little bit more special um and i just love the color i think this looks so expensive and this is the little sarong it's so cute and it matches perfectly but it also goes with like a ton of other bikinis just something really nice to have in your collection to throw over and the last two things that I have to show you guys are two pairs of heels. I haven't really updated my shoes in a very long time, so I got two pairs of heels to kind of like get me through the summer. So the first is this black pair of kitten heels. It's a really small heel, which I love because then I'll be able to walk in them all night. These are super comfortable. They're from the brand Ray. And yeah, again, I just thought these were super easy and versatile and go with everything. Um, so there's that and then the second pair that I got is kind of a similar style, but in a nude color These are from LPA. They're a little bit taller and Yeah, I don't know. I just thought this color would go with everything and I loved the scrunching detail on the top Okay, that is everything that I have to show you guys for the haul if you guys buy anything or if you Sign up for the ambassador program. Definitely leave me a comment and let me know. I would love to hear um, what you guys get or if you guys sign up and yeah if you guys have any other questions you can leave them in the comments down below so I am gonna do a little bit of editing and then I think we're gonna call it a day and order some food also I just realized I never told you guys why my mirror is now here instead of over there where it originally was when it first came um, if you guys remember, I had my mirror facing my bed for a while. I honestly, I wasn't sure how I felt about it because like spatially, I thought that it looked great having the mirror there, but it was kind of annoying every time I wanted to take a photo or do an Instagram story or something that my bed was in the background and it always had to look perfect. So I wasn't like sold on it, but like I didn't know where else I was gonna put it. And then one day, one of you guys actually left me a comment on my video saying that having a mirror facing you in bed is really bad feng shui. I don't know if you guys believe in that stuff, but I'm, I don't know, I believe in those things and I'm like a little bit superstitious. So I started looking into it and um, apparently you, like if you have a mirror facing you in bed, you're inviting spirits to have like access to your soul at night. And if you're in a relationship and you're sleeping with a partner, then you're inviting a third party into the relationship. So um, yeah, I was like, we need to move this mirror immediately. So I decided to put it here because it's just the obvious second choice of where I would put my mirror. And that way when I'm taking photos, you just have the couch in the background. So that's a little mirror update. I'm still trying to decide what I want on this wall here. Um, Cause it's a little bit bare and it would be nice to have a piece of art or something on the wall to kind of brighten it up. But I don't wanna, I don't wanna rush into anything like that. So I'll keep you guys posted. I am gonna do at some point like a furnished apartment tour, but I just don't have everything that I want yet. I wanna get a rug and I wanna get a coffee table. And I honestly just haven't had the time to look for things that I actually like. I haven't seen anything that I really like. So um, yeah, that's something that will come down the line once I actually order those things. Okay, I know I said I was gonna order in sushi, but I honestly had this chicken in the fridge that really needed to be done. So I made a little salad bowl with rice, chicken, avocado, um, lettuce obviously, and I put a little healthier version of a spicy mayo dressing on top. So this is gonna be my dinner while I edit.
sunset. This is what I do every night. <laughs> I just sit here and I watch the sunset and it's just so relaxing and peaceful and I love it. I think what I'm gonna do is I am gonna watch one of my favorite shows. Some of my Canadian subscribers might know the show. Um, it's called Rookie Blue. I have watched it probably like six or seven times the entire show. It's just one of those comfort shows that I can never get tired of. But before I end the vlog, I just wanna thank you guys so much for supporting me and watching my vlogs. I have been thinking about it a lot lately and just haven't had a chance to say it yet, but I'm super grateful for every single one of you like whether you just watch the video or whether you comment or whether you shop through my links like it everything means so much to me and i just want to make sure you guys know how much i value you guys and like how much i love what i'm doing it's like these moments where i'm sitting by myself and i'm just reflecting where i really realize how much i have to be thankful for also like a lot of this is because of you guys i'm able to do it and keep it up so thank you so yeah with that i'm gonna close off the vlog if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next one Bye.